What's up everyone, it's Mark from Silence Tech. I hope you're all keeping well. Today's video is all about improving the grip on your mouse by turning it glossy. This has been highly requested by a lot of people after watching my top 5 gaming mice of 2019 video. So it's time to give the people what they want and also a massive shout out to our mouse review on Reddit. A bit of a backstory, ever since getting my hands on the Wireless G Pro I have struggled with grip due to its matte coating. I have extremely dry hands due to living in a cold country. My hands would take around 15 minutes of continuous gaming to warm up before I could get a decent amount of grip on the G Pro Wireless. The problem was, as soon as I walked away from my PC between games to grab a drink or have a stretch etc, my hand would dry out straight away and I was back to square one, struggling for grip on the G Pro Wireless once more. Before we start, a big disclaimer, this is a long process taking several hours and I accept zero responsibility for anyone attempting this and messing up their G Pro or any other mouse for that matter. Yes this mouse looks very nice in my opinion but you're turning a plastic glossy. The surface will be prone to fingerprints and hazing over time without proper care. With that said, the original stock matte coating that ships with the G Pro Wireless has permanent fingerprint marks all over it only after a few days of use. From my testing, this glossy G Pro is far more durable, plus I'm able to polish it up like new whenever I want. The issue I had with gripping my G Pro Wireless has finally been fixed. Plus, unlike a glossy mouse that has a top layer of clear coat paint, my hand doesn't become slippy at all on the rare occasion it gets sweaty. I believe that's because a normal glossy mouse has a very smooth surface due to the lacquer. My method leaves tiny scratches from the wet and dry sandpaper all over the mouse unseeable to the human eye, they provide a tiny bit more grip compared to a normal glossy mouse. Anyway, let's get started. First of all, what you will need is an assortment of wet and dry sandpaper, such as these from Amazon, ranging from 1500 to 5500 grit. And you will also need some microfiber cloths so they don't scratch the mouse and any high quality or car polish wax. Most reputable brands will get the job done. The method I'm going to show you is pretty easy, although it's very time consuming. You want to start with a 2500 grit sheet and start sanding in a particular area, slowly moving around the mouse, paying particular attention to the edges around the left and right clicks. These areas are stubborn as the edges are very difficult to sand. When sanding, try to avoid causing any stress to the switches. You can use the spare covers for the side buttons included with this mouse. The polish will turn the side buttons glossy later on, there's no need to sand them. Protecting the left and right clicks is also a very good idea. I found holding them down with my finger stopped them constantly activating while sanding. Going back and forth activates all of the buttons. Although they are rated to millions of clicks, there's no point in reducing their lifespan needlessly. By now, you should have worn out a fair few sheets of 2500 grit. Find a used one and slightly dampen it with water, shaking off any excess liquid. Then run it over the mouse a fair few times. This will remove a lot of the deeper scratches. At this stage, you're ready to move up in grades, slowly taking out the scratches created from the previous one. I found using car polish really helped to expose any areas that needed attention. You will see areas that are still matte, especially around the edges, try to get down to a damp 4500 grit. Spend around 10 minutes on each grade, moving in the exact order I mentioned earlier. After a couple of hours you'll notice you've made an absolute mess of your surroundings, but the G Pro Wireless will start to look glossy. Once you've finished sanding, it's time to start introducing that car polish and some serious buffing action. Honestly, prepare for a workout. Firstly, add a little bit of polish to a cloth and vigorously rub it in. The idea is to stop the polish getting into any of the gaps on the mouse. Applying the polish in certain areas is your best bet. Polishing around the edges with a corner of the cloth works really well and use a second cloth to completely remove the wax. The classic wax on wax off technique. Congratulations, you've just turned into the Karate Kid. 
Seriously, I wouldn't like to know how long I've actually spent polishing this mouse, plus all of the others I've done. At this point I can't help you any longer, you're on your own, just keep polishing and polishing. And remember to add a power cord to your G Pro wireless, it would be a shame after all that work to just use the stock cable. Taking a look at the finished product, I love my glossy G Pro wireless. And I've also reduced the overall weight as well by removing the power play parts and swish cheesing the bottom and it now weighs 70 grams. Overall all of these mods are game changing and I can now finally start really enjoying my G Pro wireless. That's the video wrapped up, I hope this has helped someone struggling for grip on their G Pro wireless. If you do this mod please send me a picture via Twitter, just at me, all of my social media links are in the description and I would love to hear your opinions on the grip as well. I shall see you all hopefully very soon, my name's Mark from Silence Tech, please remember to drop a like on this video, goodbye.